system. The ACLU and Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights are representing plaintiffs like the Coalition on Homelessness, Executive Director Jim Friedenbach. When folks are down and they're at their worst moments in their lives, and then the city, the entity that's supposed to be helping them comes and rips everything away from them, um, and then threatens them with jail uh, for, you know, lodging. So, it, yeah, it's absolutely cruel and unusual punishment. The ultimate goal, she says, is to force the spend the money to get people adequately housed instead of sweeping them under the rug. This is absolutely ineffective. It has been tried and failed, you know, so many times and just going in and making it as miserable as possible for people on the streets somehow doesn't make them disappear. That's the city's approach. They want to disappear homeless people and that's what they're attempting to do and it doesn't work. Now, city attorney spokesperson Jen Court tells KCBS in a statement that the city is focused on expanding temporary shelter and permanent housing options and will respond to the lawsuit in court at some point in San Francisco this year. There's been a surprising ending to a 13-plus-hour standoff at an East Bay shopping center. As KCBS's Matt Bigler reports from the scene, the suspect is believed to have escaped for changing clothes in a Nordstrom rack. The standoff happened at the Nordstrom rack here at the Sun Valley Shopping Center where police searched for hours overnight who ran into the clothing store after crashing his car nearby. SWAT teams used a drone and left to try and locate the man inside. Captain Scott Vermillion with Pleasant Hill Police says surveillance video shows the suspect climbing into the crawl space of the business where he may have changed clothes. We do believe that there has been some clothing off so uh, as a it's a clothing department store there's clothing everywhere he put on other clothing and in the initial chaotic scene walked out the scene has been cleared the businesses should be reopening this morning the suspect's identity and the circumstances of the rape have not been disclosed from the scene at the sun valley shopping center in pleasant hill matt bigler kcbs as we've been telling you this has been the deadliest week of the year in oakland with police investigating eight killings and as kcbs's megan goldsby reports the chief of police are 450 shootings this year, 137 of those shootings have been attributed to group and gang violence in the city of Oakland. Oakland Police Chief Laron Armstrong says that's why he's putting more resources into street patrols in areas known to be gang territory in the city and dedicating so much to the ceasefire program, which has worked in the past. This is not an effort to arrest those that are driving gun violence in the city and get these guns off the streets and out of our community. There is only a small group of uh, that are driving violence in the city of Oakland, but these individuals are active, and we need the community's help to bring them forward so that we can make those key arrests. And lately, he says the problem has been coming in from out of town as well. We've also seen an increase in San Francisco-related groups and gangs in the city of Oakland. We will continue to partner with the San Francisco Police Department in addressing those that are bringing over to the city of Oakland as well. He says they've already made several arrests of known gang members from San Francisco. Megan Goldsby, KCB. It's not just Oakland. Sacramento Police Chief Kathy Lester says they are working around the clock to investigate a series of shootings over three days that killed four. It started early Sunday when two people opened fire after they were kicked out of a midtown sports bar. Two more shootings, which police don't believe are related, happened just after 11 Monday. One at an apartment complex in South Natomas where two people were found shot to death inside a vehicle. Strawberry Manor District where one person was killed, another man wounded. And about nine yesterday morning, a man was shot and killed in Oak Park. That was the city's 45th homicide this year. Sacramento is on track to surpass last year's 57 homicides, which was the most in 16 years. Just getting word into the KCBS newsroom of 3.4 quake in San Jose it was centered 15 miles northeast of Alum Rock. When we get it. Still to come. I'm Jennifer Hodges. Why it may be a while before Serenos founder Elizabeth Holmes is in. 1008 at KCBS. We are starting off this. With a crash in Brentwood. Here's Victor. 
Yeah, this one involves a uh, big rig that actually jackknifes, so it's going to be uh, a while before they can move this one out the way. This is on Highway 4 in the eastbound direction just before you get to Hoffman Lane. And traffic is very slow from right around Sellers Avenue. It looks like the... Uh, from but it is partially blocking the right lane, so that's the reason why you're very heavy. Uh, well, for that matter, now I'm looking at the traffic sensors, and it's pretty slow in both directions. Your best alternate route would be uh, Brent Boulevard to get around this. No estimated time when lanes will open there. I'll keep you up to date on KCBS AM FM traffic. Also in Antioch, looking at slow traffic in the uh, westbound direction of Highway 4, just as you're... That's you're going to see the backup, and it doesn't really uh, ease up to get past Summersville Road. There's a report of a crash. Once you get past that, it's a pretty smooth ride all the way into Concord. And also in Fremont, looking at slow traffic on 880 southbound from Dakota Road to just before you get to uh, Maori, uh, there is a report of a crash. A very slow passing the scene. Your next traffic update at 1018. Traffic leader, KCBS. Mostly sunny. After the morning overcast burns off, it's pretty much well on its way already. We're looking at high 60s at the coast, 70s around the bay, low 80s inland. Clouds come back tonight and burn off tomorrow afternoon. Again, we want to let you know of a 3.4 preliminary magnitude that struck just a few minutes ago in San Jose's Alum Rock Hills. It was about 15 miles northeast in San Jose. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 106.9 and AM 740 CBS. Is your family ready for an emergency? You can prepare by mapping out two ways to escape your home, creating a supply kit, and including your whole family in practice drills. For help creating an emergency plan, visit safetyactioncenter.pge.com. Get ready for the holidays now during Court Furniture Outlet's fall blowout sale. Court Furniture prices are their furniture for and television, my home stagers, and corporate offices. And when the furniture comes back, they sell it for pennies on the dollar. And now, during Court's Fall Blowout Sale, you'll see even more on everything or make your workplace more comfortable. New upholstery in several styles and colors. New and used accent chairs, dining sets, bedroom sets mattresses, home decor, plus a great selection of office furniture. So come into a court furniture why court furniture has been the secret destination of designers, home stagers, and business professionals for 50 years. With locations in San Francisco on Center and Van Ness, and Cupertino on Stevens Creek Boulevard. Check them out on Yelp or go to furnitureoutlet.com. Guys, I'll never forget the first time I saw somebody get results at our clinic. He was an 81-year-old man who hadn't been intimate with his wife in over eight years. Viagra had stopped working for him, and he was desperate for help. After several treatments, he walked into my office and told me he couldn't get results. Needless to say, this was a very happy man. This man made me a believer in what But he had never fixed the problem. When he came to us, we fixed the problem. Our treatment does what no pill can do. And right now, we're offering a free treatment just for coming in. That's right. You can try this treatment at no cost. If you suffer from ED or Peroni's disease, with clinics in San Mateo and Sacramento, call 650-407-1168. That's 650-407-1168. Online at West Available. At Stevens Creek Subaru, we buy used vehicles from our customers, even if you don't buy ours. Visit Stevens Creek Subaru today for a competitive, no obligation appraisal and cash offer on the spot. We buy all makes and models, paid off or not. Stop by Stevens Creek Subaru today or StevensCreekSubaru.com. KCBS News Time 1012. There is a possibility the sentencing for Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes will get delayed. KCBS's Jennifer. Her lawyers are doing everything they can to get a new trial. A former Theranos lab director, Dr. Adam Rosendorf, showed up at Elizabeth Holmes's house and said he felt guilty over testifying. That visit is what could lead to her sentencing being delayed. The big question presented for the judge is whether he will grant an evidentiary hearing to allow Holmes' defense team to question the prosecution star witness as to whether Legal analyst Steve Clark, Rosendorf, 
A declaration stating he felt bad for Holmes, but he does stand by his initial testimony that she valued. for Ms. Holmes is likely to, to be delayed by at least a couple of months to give both sides a chance to gear up 